The belief in Allah's divine plan has an incredible ability to strengthen individuals in ways they may not even realize. When we are facing life challenges, we might question why we are tested and how we will overcome such trials. It's during these moments that faith in Allah's wisdom becomes a source of huge inner strength. When we face difficulties, whether they are personal, professional or emotional, it can be challenging to see a way out or understand the purpose behind these trials. However, faith teaches is us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never burden us should beyond its capacity and each challenge is an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Human beings are created and we are placed in a situation when we are going to have struggle. We are going to have to deal with very difficult circumstances, very difficult situation and even we are going to have to deal with that. It's a part of life. And that has nothing to do with if you had more Iman, you would not have these problems. It does not work that way. As a matter of fact, you know that the people assume the higher Iman, the problems are gonna go away. No, it's not that. Actually, the fact is that when the higher your Iman is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to test you more with some difficulties. You just have to keep your faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Always remember, Allah tests those whom He loves the most. So, you have to deal the things with with the patience you have to keep your faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it gives you the strength and it gives you the ability to go through it having faith in Allah does not mean that you are not going to face any problems and difficulties but actually it strengthens you so you can go through the problems that's the purpose of our faith so now I'm going to tell two of the burdens, the hardest burdens that human beings live with our fear and sadness. As a matter of fact, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Adam alayhi salam to the earth, he told him that when he gives his guidance, whoever follows my guidance, they are going to be able to combat fear and sadness. In other words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that in the story of humanity, from Adam alayhi salam to the last human being that's going to walk on this earth, every one of them is going to have a struggle with fear and they are going to have a struggle with sadness. Now what are these two things? Fear is about what's going to happen in the future. Fear is about am I going to lose my job? What's going to happen to my family? What are they going to say? What's gonna happen tomorrow? These fears about what's going to happen in the next few hours or in the next few days. These fears are small or big. They are a part of us. Fear is the part of life. It's always there. And now what sadness? Let's say some students get the result that they failed. Their sadness about what happened already. So fear is about the future and sadness is about the past. What already took place in the past. So whatever goes wrong in the past, don't get stuck there. Get over it. It's done now. You should move on with your life. Feeling sad is not a sign that you don't have enough faith. You can take an example of our Prophet Muhammad He continued to feel the sadness of the actions of Khadija radiallahu anha for years. He has the greatest faith of all and yet he carries sadness so that does not mean he does not have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's a part of the life so the belief that Allah is making you stronger is a powerful source of inspiration and resilience for many in the times of adversity and hardship this faith serves as a guiding light reminding individuals that their trials and challenges are opportunities for growth and inner strength. It instills the conviction that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, never burden a soul beyond its capacity and that every obstacle is a test of faith. This belief fosters patience, determination and unwavering trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wisdom and plan. Ultimately, enabling individuals to emerge from their struggles with new strength, resilience and a deeper connection to their faith. The conviction that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making you stronger is a profound source of comfort and empowerment for those who place their trust in His divine wisdom. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make things easier for us and grant us good in this dunya and hereafter.